Okay, so today we are going to learn about Contentful, which is a headless CMS. We'll learn what is the headless bit. And we'll see how to start from scratch. Then we will go on and create our content model. What is a content model? How we create it, we'll see it. Then we will create content as per the content model that we have created. So typically this work is done by the architect and this one by the technical writer or the content developer as the need may be, as the scenario may be. Then we will see how to consume the headless content. And what it involves, it involves making the REST API calls. And for that, we will have to generate and use authentication. Now, first let's start by uh, seeing what headless content looks like. So, if I'm not wrong, this is where I hosted my content. It looks like this. A uh, typical JSON returned by, okay, this is not my content. Wait. CDN. Yeah, this is my content. And this is some sample content about the types of bikes. What is a road bike? Its description, an image. This is the file name of the image and where it is suitable, stuff like that. Then there is something about a hybrid bike. Okay. But how did we reach here? Starting from the very first step, A headless CMS. So I uh, signed up, I logged into Contentful. And first of all, I'm donning the hat of, a, of an architect and I'm creating a content model. I go here and I create a content type. And I added here type of bike. This is a content type. Uh, if you are familiar with data, basically I'm creating a content type similar to a task or a concept. And once I have created it, it's here. And in this, I am adding my fields and the structure. I'm adding that there will be some text, there will be some numbers, IDs, date and time, location, all this we can add and this is one of the things I really like about uh, Contentful, that it allows you to create a content model, which is which can be even more restrictive than data. And you know the possibilities with this kind of structured content are endless, how you can process it. Uh, so a number, if I try to add a field that is a uh, name, what will be the name of that field? What will be the field ID? what kind of data I will be adding there. And then after I create it, I can configure it further, whether I want localization here or not, okay? All the content will be translated to German and English. German because the CMS is German. So once I have created this structure for the type of bike in which I want a name, an image suitable for short text, description, 
and the integer we just added we don't want it uh now once my content model is ready the then i create content according to the content model content model i created now i am donning the hat of a content writer so this is the topic i created this is road bike this is the image it is suitable for long rides good road straight roads yeah blah 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 and we publish the changes now it is published but uh before we could consume it so we've seen what a headless cms is what the headless bit is we've already we've already seen what this content will appear to the user as we started we created our content model we've done that uh, we've created our content as per the content model this is what we are doing on this page uh now we have to consume the headless content how do we consume it now this requires some knowledge of rest apis you have to understand how rest apis work so i will go to my settings and i will go api keys and i can generate api keys add api api keys for my app which will be basically the authentication to access it and once i have created this authentication which is simple authentication i can use this in the url to call this content this is basically the url you can see it see the url in the documentation of this cms i have the one id here and the authentication here which i have added after creating it so that i could call this content and this is how it appears uh now what next now obviously we can't consume the content in this form uh this would either be consumed through uh through a programming language whereby it can be processed it could be it could be formatted using a css it could be consumed using graphql it can be consumed on another server or a rendering mechanism that supports uh processing and displaying json and that is the end of our demo so i'll stop recording